Let's do it, guys. Let's get professional. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to DG360. My goodness, we've reported on this in the past. I'm reporting on it, I think, for the third time. SpaceX launching 60 more satellites for the Starlink program. For the, you guys that aren't aware of what Elon is getting into, man, I love reporting on this, but it scares me. It scares me to the very foundation, to my very roots. Starlink is this program where... Elon Musk is launching all these different satellites into very close Earth orbit. And all these satellites are creating this network, this web, if you will. They lit it literally looks like a web up in space. And they link together to give us faster internet. No matter where we are at on the planet, it is going to give us the fastest internet possible for advertised the lowest price. And so far, there's about 120, you don't quote me on this, but there's approximately 120 of these satellites now orbiting the Earth. And here we're launching more of these satellites up above us. And it makes me worried <laughs> Because I start to think about Skynet, and I know that Elon Musk is working on something called Neuralink 2. Go to the channel. You want to know about Neuralink. It's wonderful medical uh, progress happening, and in, in, in they're installing chips in people's heads to help them with speech problems and sight problems. <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> and... You know, Neuralink and Starlink, all these things are really exciting. But when I hear the link, the link part, the link part in the Neuralink and the link part in the Starlink and I'm hearing link, I'm starting to get nervous. You know, like I start to think maybe Elon is the most crazy, evil man that, that the world has ever known. Like he's so nice on the top. We just saw him dancing a couple days ago on the stream here. You know, he was happy that he got a Tesla plant in China, but maybe there's some like evil lurking under there that we're not quite aware of. Like he's this evil genius, like, like a Lex Luthor, if you will. Like I, I'm so worried that this might happen. I don't, I know it's irrational. I know it's conspiracy kind of think, but it, <laughs> there's something in my brain that keeps, that keeps literally like pinging every time I start to see this. And there's supposed to be thousands thousands of these satellites at the end i think they've got 23 more missions where they keep launching an additional 60 an additional 60 and what is this doing like all these this can't be good this can't be good that we're bathing now and all this like i i feel like <laughs> i i feel like this might not be a bad thing i don't know Technology wise, we're, we're, we're going over hurdles and, and, and I'm all for that. Fast forward, you know, I want a future where it's all linked up and, you know, I want technology to, you know, progress and I'm glad to see these things. But there's that little, little seed of doubt. There's just that little seed of doubt. And I'm like, what if this thing just links up and, uh, you know, like what the people with the neural link chips go, mm, I am ready to serve you, Elon. <laughs> we must destroy all those who oppose Elon. You know, like I just I get a little bit worried that some, there's some nefarious things happening behind the scenes. I'm not going to think about that. Let's just report here on the story. Let's just report on the story. Anyway. Uh, as reported by CNN Business, SpaceX launches third batch of internet beaming satellites Monday evening, kicking off what is expected to be a remarkably busy year for the company as it readies its new broadband business. And by the way, they're partnered with Subaru. Uh, it's kind of an obscure name, but I believe that Elon is also partnered with Subaru on this. This is going to be a huge moneymaker for Elon. This is going to be a huge money. It's interesting how he merges all of his businesses together, Tesla and the battery business with Tesla. And now we got SpaceX. And now he, because he has SpaceX, he's able to put these satellites up there. That's going to be part of Starlink. He's a genius. Elon Musk is a genius and he's doing it. He's just literally going out there and doing these things that everybody would take their sweet time about. And he's he's at the forefront pushing the future He's pulling the future towards us. He's like, okay, let's just do this. Let's just do this. About 60 small satellites were fired into orbit atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Liftoff occurred at 919. I love to watch these. I love to watch these. Hold on. Let's see if we can watch any of them. I just love to watch these uh, rockets launch something about it. It's just, it just makes me feel Five, like we're going to the space three, fairing. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff. Yes. I want to be a spacefaring species. Is 
Yeah, one of many such launches this year, like 23. Uh, I love it. Uh, it makes me feel like we got a chance, like we got hope. There we go. Yes, yes, Fox. Yeah, Sab, I was just talking about that, dude. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love seeing that. But like, like I said, I have that little fear in that 1500 satellites in total. Uh, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous to see something like that. Like th th there's going to be that much satellites that we're going to be bathing in all those satellite beams, man. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's good, but you know, Hey, we get cheap internet apparently. <laughs> Wow, the price of building and launching the satellites will likely run as high as ten billion. And and Elon's like, hey, let's do it. According to one early estimate from the company, there are also technical hurdles such as how to build user terminals that consumers will be able to afford. Customers will need these user terminals, which will use complex antennas to set up usable broadband connections at their home or office. So, you know, it's kind of like how we have these routers right now and we have Wi-Fi, but there's going to be like an additional hardware that we're going to need to hook up into um, Starlink. So, you know, they'll make money off the hardware end. They'll make money off the service that they're providing. And uh, I'm just telling you guys, this is this is the future. This is the future happening right now. He's going to make a buttload of money. OG is absolutely right. He's going to make a lot of money off of this. But God only knows what it's really going to do or what it's really intended for. <laughs> Let us know what you think down in the uh, description of the video below. And as usual, guys, I will see you on the next vid. Today's video has been brought to you by the generous patrons of DG360 who make continued content possible. DG360 patrons enjoy monthly giveaways like Star Citizen packages, Steam gift cards, and any game that you want giveaways. Please consider donating $1 if in any way you enjoy DG360 content. And these difficult times where independent content creation is under attack from the FTC and left to die by YouTube, it's nice to know that I'm appreciated.